What's up guys, I'm Chris. I'm Sean. And we're the Whiskey Noobs. So I placed an order through Caskers, uh, I guess a week or two back. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole deal was that we were really interested in one bottle. Yeah, we were really interested in, uh, let me re make sure I get it right. The, the uh, Balcones Texas Single Malt Whiskey, right? So this is when I kept referring to a single malt, yeah. right? Yeah, this is the actual And, uh, and it, it does mean a little bit different things in America than it does in, in Scotland. But, right. it, you know, Texas Single Malt Whiskey, rum cast finished, 62% alcohol per volume. So 24 proof. Ah, I was pretty excited yeah. about this one. Yep. And so this is the bottle I wanted. Well, when you order whiskey online, you pay for shipping, of course. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> when you when you pay for shipping, it really makes sense to buy more bottles than just a certain one point. bottle. Yeah. You just so this mind. is where it's great to have Sean in cohorts because I'm like, hey, uh, let's order some whiskey. Do you want to split it? And uh, and so and we've done this in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, when especially when it comes to pricier bottles. Yeah. It really have to have shipped in. Yeah. When we drink all of our whiskey together, for the most part, anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so it makes sense for us to kind of share in the cost. Yeah. So we absolutely. split. We split the cost of these three bottles. Once we had the single malt rum cast finished, kind of like locked in, mm -hmm. right? We talked about some other bottles, but ultimately we kind of shifted to a let's do a whole Balcones order. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because well. He sent me he sent me this one and then he sent me some other stuff and I was like oh is that a is that a rye a hundred proof rye I was like we yeah. gotta order that hundred percent rye so it's a hundred proof and a hundred percent it's a hundred percent rye one hundred one hundred yeah absolutely I don't think we've had a no and that's why I was like dude you gotta order we've had some ninety five percent ryes yeah which I mean close enough near enough to not make any difference yeah but this will be our first. 100% rye. And 100 proof at the same time. Like right. I, that's, yeah, that's it's pretty exciting. Deal. Yeah. And then once you have this guy mm -hmm. and you start, you know, doing a little bit of research into, into the Balcones, they made the rum. My understanding is that they actually made their own rum yep. so that they would have the casks to be able to mm -hmm. then finish their whiskey. And so, why not? You know, th yeah. this is kind of basically created specifically in my in my world in my mind from what i understand to create this bottle and what proof is that so no, no, the proof right of the rum yep. is 62 percent so that's 124 so both of these bad boys are 62 percent wow yeah so yeah. Uh, pretty excited about both of these excited about 100 percent rye yeah um you know and again these are unique and so that's kind of why mm -hmm. we've chosen them I'm not huge into, like I said, you know, the, the craft distillers. I don't even know if Balcones at this point can be considered craft. I, I, I don't think it can. I, I think, think it's kind of broke through, through that. Kind of broke through, you know, the days of making whiskey under a bridge. In a welding <clears throat> warehouse. And, yeah. You know, so, yeah. yeah. Definitely an interesting, to check, interesting one to check out. Um, I think their head distiller is a pretty cool dude. And you yeah. should definitely watch some of the videos that come out of there. His name's Jared, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, pretty cool guy. That come out of their marketing department because they, they do an awesome job down there. So, uh, it's actually kind of put maybe future plans for a Texas uh, whiskey tour whiskey tour on our yeah. list so after the Kentucky one. yeah we're going to Kentucky that's planned for this year uh, yeah we'll yeah. see how everything goes with the COVID world yeah. uh, but we could definitely see maybe a Texas and potentially a Tennessee mm -hmm. tours in our future yeah. but uh, yeah we just want to make a short clip introducing these three you're going to see future videos on these guys yeah um, I think we're probably going to start out uh, with the rum we're really excited yeah. we're and work our way over so we got three balcones, balcones yeah. to try. Mm -hmm. Where do we want to start? I think I know where we want to start. I uh, we should definitely start, start with the rum. With the rum. Yeah. He toss us a knife, a sharp object to cut plastic. All right. So yeah. we want to start with the rum because these casks are used to make their single malt rum cask. And it's yeah. got a mouthful. It is. Um, it is. But good whiskey is always a mouthful. Wait, you are doing the Texas single malt. Don't open that. Don't open that yet. Is it the Texas? <laughs> <laughs> Don't no! It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know why? Sean is called the power of editing. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's try this again. I'm I'm Sean. This is Chris. I'm Chris. We're the whiskey news. Hey, folks. <laughs> we're we're just trying to live up to our name. So I've been on I've been the on Instagram a lot lately with the yeah. Whiskey Noobs Instagram page, and so I've been seeing lots of really cool uh, 
names for whiskey groups or whiskey pages. Yes. And so I sent Sean. I was like, oh, this one's really cool. Like, we totally, like, we missed the boat. And, you know, first off, someone else has claimed it. Yeah. But, but yeah. secondly, like, we didn't think of it. And yeah, I'm like, like, why didn't we think of that? And uh, some, of the, some of the best ones I've heard here lately are, like, uh, no bad whiskey. That one, yes. Which is a saying that I've said many times before. There are no I just would have never thought to make that the name of a channel or the name of yeah. a page. Um, what's another really good one that we've heard here lately? Uh, oh, we, we came up with one during one of our videos. Oh, bourbon and rye. Bourbon and rye guy. Bourbon yeah. and rye. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. I, or, and any connotation of bourbon and rye guys or... Uh, you know, whatever. The point is that we come up with a lot of great names. We do. But after you know we've what? already established the name. The Whiskey yeah. News is just what we're going to land on. So it that's is. where we're at. It is. And so anyway. It gives us some grace, you know. We'll get the rum here. So uh, you have it here, folks. The first rum on the Whiskey News YouTube channel. Yes. And so we're going to give this a shot. I'm pretty excited. So we got whiskey in there. We don't want whiskey. We want some. Oh, we need a fresh one. Yeah. So let's see here. Even though that's really good whiskey. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So, oh, let's do this. Tell me your experience with rum. My experience with rum. Yeah. Uh, other Nassau. Than, other than your cruise that you went on. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just saying Nassau, sitting at the rum distillery, wow. oh, sure. having rum underneath palm trees, mm -hmm. probably with something else. It's probably like mixed with something. Mm -hmm. Mojitos and such. Yeah. Yeah. It was probably, like, probably had an umbrella in it. Um, I'm trying to think if I any other rum that I've ever had. I think I've had people, someone serve me rum and Coke before, probably. Sure. Yeah, yeah that's a like yeah. Captain Morgan and yeah, Coke, Coke or, something like that. or something. Yeah, and I and I I've, I've had different rums. Uh, my significant other is a big rum fan, and she's always bringing different ones home. Um, but you know, like one that stands out to me is like Kraken, like a dark spiced rum, like dark fruit spice, Sh sugar cane, kind of right? Thing. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. sugar cane. Yeah, and. <clears throat> Um, but anyway, I, I, I enjoy rum. It's not something I sip on the regular, but you know, when I'm offered, I'll drink it for sure. So. I mean, when I hear, you know, you say sugar cane to yeah. me, that brings up some of the flavors I really enjoy in, in whiskey. Does. And some of the, our favorite ones that we've tried are finished in rum casks. I'm gonna let that every breathe. time. Actually, I'm going to let that breathe. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. I tell you yeah. what, the 62 proof. It's coming. Through. It is, but I will say this: this has a nose that is very familiar with, very familiar to me for the Balcones. Kind of a little peaty, bit of funk, a little there's funky, a little, little, little peaty. Funk. There's some funky water going on underneath that bridge. You got this whole thing about the water. It's got to be. Well, they're not under the bridge anymore. No, but that's where they started in 2008. You know, but still, I mean, you keep quoting dates. I hope I hope he's right on any of these dates because I, I have no idea. Right. I'm gonna give me a little chart just to keep track of facts. We need a fact check at the end of the videos. We, we were do doing a, a whole check. thing on a whole line of balconies. I had to read up a little bit. You know, I had to. Yeah, I did watch sure. the videos, and there's definitely some cool stuff. That yeah, they're doing well, you're there. usually the one that hits all that, so. That's good. Yeah, it does smell good. Mm -hmm. I, I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of notes, that, you know, from the whiskey profile that I'm there doing. There are. So, I mean, there are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if, if you just gave this to me and said, "Here you go," I, I would just assume it was whiskey. So you know, it's got a lot of the lighter notes on some of the darker whiskeys that we've had. So like, it's got the, it's got the the sugar, the uh, creme brulee, yeah, the. Um, the vanillas. Yeah, see, for me, I'm getting... So, we've... The scotches that we've tried yeah. have been Speyside. Yeah. So, like, you know, the, the lighter, more bourbon, sweet scotches, right? The entry-level stuff that we were told to try. That's where we're at okay. in our okay. scotch journey. It is, yeah. I'm getting a lot of scotch notes off this. So, for me, yeah. this is the kind of like... Is. This is the fruit, like the, the pear and... But, I, you know, this has a balcony, a balcony smell to it. You know, like, when I smell this, I'm like... This is See, to me, it's better. It, well, we've only had a, one other, you know, so we've had the Baby Blue. That's the only other Balcones we've had. Oh, it is, and, but the other Texas whiskeys that we had. had yeah, you've got had, this whole theory about Texas water. I do, I do, and yeah. I'm, I stand up to it. Like, with this, it even confirms. Because I was smelling, like, oh, that's from Texas, you know? Like, I, that's what it smells like. All right, let's get into it. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that is, a, that is fire. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. That's... <laughs> I'm pretty sure my eyes got the size of like yeah, platters. Fire's a good way to put it. It, it definitely, definitely spicy. Um, that's good though. I enjoyed that. That it. I don't know how else to explain this. It just makes you tingle. Like it there's does. just like this whole tingle feeling you get from it. And, and it doesn't like the, have a long finish. It's it's all right up I on the front of the tongue. I was ready to say the finish is gone just as quick. Yeah. I mean, it's, like it's as soon as it hits your tongue, yep. it's like, woo, zing, woo, zing, and you get like this little tingle feel. Yeah. Feel feel <laughs> feeling. <laughs> and then it's gone just as yeah. quick as it comes. Yeah. It oh is. my gosh, that's sixty-two percent. Yeah, but that. Do you know how much trouble that would get you in? How much good whiskey, Sean? Um, not many. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna count your fingers. <laughs> like, imagine people mixing this in something. Oh God! Like, like a double, like a double. Give me a double, uh, like mojito. Oh you know, my or, gosh, that would like, yeah. The hurricanes that we drank in New Orleans are, also have rum in yep. them, which is hurricanes why they sneak up for the on rum. you. Yep. Uh, and I think what we had was a Hemingway special when we were at the John Watling's distillery in Dis in Nassau. Okay. So and it is. Oh, did you do some rum? It has a Thanks maraschino. Cherry. Yeah, we went to a rum distiller. Oh, nice. That was the best the part of our whole Bahamas trip is going to the rum distiller, and they actually filmed part of one of the James Bonds. In the front lawn. Uh, with, oh, nice. with the new James Bond that I don't like. Yeah. Craig, Craig, is it, what's his name? Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Yeah, so I think they filmed part of that James Bond at that distillery. It's a beautiful place. I mean, just... Gorgeous. Anyway, we're getting off track. Point is, yes. this rum... I did. I, good. Give me another pour. Maybe I'm a rum guy. Yeah, that was good. Stout. Guys, it's been flavorful. Oh, man, we put yeah. all this time and investment and money into whiskey just to find out that I like rum better. Yeah. Who's the guy that won our uh, giveaway? He's the guy at Tiki Bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay. Yeah. Little Monkey Tiki Bar. There you go. Right here. Yeah, you hey, check this you, out. If you haven't had Balconis uh, rum, this... He's down in that area. He should be able to get it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah he is in Texas. You're... I think you're in Texas, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, he should be able to pick that up. Mmm. That's creme brulee all day long in the nose. That's good. I think we had like some form of a root beer float while we were also at that distillery, which was absolutely amazing. Oh, with the rum? With the rum. Yeah. The ice cream was made with the rum. And then they added it to their spice rum beer to actually make the root beer float as well. Adult root beer. Yeah, if we ever go back to Nassau, we would just spend all of our time there. there. We've been twice. And I would say that if we, we'd go back, we would just spend all of our time there. Like, yeah. no reason to leave. No, yeah. why That's some you? of the biggest chickens I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, like, I, like, yeah. And, like, I've grown up around farms. These were the the biggest, like, our chickens here got nothing on the chickens down there. Like, you think, you think they feed chickens in the U.S. steroids? These chickens eat our chickens. I'm, I'm not a rooster. I'm a chicken Dude, hawk. I'm talking, like, I'll say the I thought they were fake. Son. Did Dude, you really? I thought they were fake. Huge fed. chickens. <laughs> And they're completely tame, you know, like, oh, like turkey-sized chickens. <laughs> Turkins. <laughs> it, it might have been all the rum, but I'm telling you, this is just a big chicken. I'll say there's a hole in your gloves. But, you know, back to the rum, here's what I got to say. I'm not a rum expert. I mean, I'm not even a whiskey expert. But I'm not definitely not a rum expert. And I will say that that, was, that, that is good. some good stuff. That was. If you want something, and look at the color, so I, I, look that at the gives color you a punch yeah. but it doesn't stick around. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gives a punch but it doesn't stick. I'm sipping that in the summer. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's good. That's good. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's got all those mm -hmm. really great like spices and like zing that we get. We call it the nine volt battery. Yeah, yeah. On the tip of your tongue that you get from like the Knob yep. Creek and some of the higher proof stuff that we like. Yep. And that really gives you that zing. And it delivers all the fun. And they're so light, but bold at the same time. Yeah. They're light flavors that are bold. That's that, good. That just has me more excited about yes. this, this rum cast finish. Don't let us down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I'm going to finish this out. Mm. All right. So very brief review. We'll come back to this guy for sure. Yeah, after a breeze a little bit. But what I gotta say so far, definitely worth it. 
-hmm. If you're into rum, definitely give it a shot. If you're into whiskey, definitely give it a shot. There's a lot of whiskeys finished in the rum cask, so you know that would help really. Yeah, and I'm, about, I'm loving the 62%. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, that high, high proof is perfect. Yeah, so I, I say we go ahead and close this one out. Guys, we appreciate it. Hey, if you've got a rum that we should try... We'll do it. Or a rum, a whiskey that's been finished in a rum cask. Yes. That you think we should try. Uh, drop it down in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love the suggestions. And uh, we'd really appreciate it if you would like this video. Ring yes. the notification bell. And subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. We would. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. See you guys.